What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about this inexpensive action figure and how we can customize it into a six scale Mandalorian. All right, so first things first, uh, if you guys know, I have gotten into making uh, my own custom Mandalorians, uh, clone troopers, whatever. Um, uh, buddy of mine, Ricky Ma, uh, I got these files from him. He's made more files. Uh, I've actually got some really cool uh, helmets and armor uh, from Mandalorians. But uh, he recently just posted a video, which I'll put links to his channel in the description of this one, on how he took a 12-inch action figure as his, his base to create a Mandalorian. And I thought, that is so freaking cool. Because typically, you know, you order a body, and, you know, you get a plain body, and then you order a, a, an undersuit, and then you print the armor, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of the things that I've been picking up here lately have been uh, some military-style figures. And I, I've been really concentrating on some of this stuff, so body suits wasn't really a thing. But he used this. Uh, he actually used the uh, the undersuit, everything, or, or the, the clothes underneath it. Um, and this is like, I think this was less than 20 bucks. I mean, it's dirt cheap. Um, but we're going to open it up. We're going to take a closer look at it. And, uh, yeah. Find the deals. <laughs> and that's the beauty of uh, things like this, because actually I paid either a little less or about the same for this and all the accessories than for a body. So, yeah. And then the undersuits, I'm getting them from overseas and I've got some of those ordered and it usually takes a month for those to get here. Uh, we don't need the box no more. But, uh, you know, I mean, hey, uh, we got some accessories, but here's the thing. Um, ooh, that's interesting. Let's start pulling some of this out. There's one particular accessory that I really, really, uh, like. And it's not actually something like crazy, you know. It's not like a weapon or anything cool like that. It's these. It's these gloved hands right here. We have a trigger. And we have the holding hand where typically on bodies like this, you have to paint the hands uh, black. But for these to come with these already, that's that's one step closer in the right direction. Uh, but let's let's take a look at some of this stuff. So we got a nice little, uh, you know, little MP3 it looks like. Nope, this is the, I think this is the uh, MP right there. Boom. Got a cheesy little... Uh, strap for it got a nice little leg holster right there which is nice got his uh weapon goes in there i do believe we want to figure out and the quality on these accessories aren't like you know i mean come on it's it's, it's less than 20 bucks little k-bar Got a walkie-talkie right there. I find this really funny that it's a SWAT team figure, but he comes with a canteen, and no, that ain't happening. <laughs> he does come with um, actually two sets of, of hands, uh, gloved and non-gloved, plus there's actually a trigger and a gripping on the figure itself. We got a, uh, we got a helmet. Got another strap, and we got some uh, smoke right there. So, again, come with some pretty cool accessories. He does have some, uh, he's got some Matrix sunglasses. But let's look at the figure. Oh, that came right out. 
Alright, so figure wise, <laughs> that is a crazy silly head sculpt. Woo, that is insane. Uh, let's see, I'm going to take all this uh, SWAT vest stuff off, which uh, there is opportunities here to use this to attach armor, which is not bad. Uh, it's an interesting fabric. You know, the, the suit on him is not like 100% um, perfect by no means, but it's still usable. Uh, his knee pads, <laughs> very, very cheaply done. But if you're looking for, there's there's two things, um, actually three things on this body that I really, really appreciated from uh, Ricky's video. Um, because I actually took a snippet of his video and was going to ask him, hey, where did you get these? Because they're awesome. Um, right here, these boots. Right there. That caught my eye because those are really cool looking boots. I like those boots. They're very, very functional. Um, like I said, the, the fabric for this, it's, it's really, you know, it's a shiny material. But, I mean, you know, for what it is, if you're doing customs, I mean, come on. You got, you got, I mean, if you're going to turn this into, you know, something like this, I mean, this is going to be covered up mainly. You don't have to have... I guess the point of this, you don't have to spend 70 or $80 on a body. You can take a $20 body and use it to create you a custom six scale figure. I mean, uh, if anybody tells you different, well, they're richer than I am. <laughs> I'm looking for deals. Uh, articulation wise, I mean, look at this. This thing's got some crazy articulation. Look at that. All right, let's get his uh, let's get his hands on or these gloved hands because this is cool. I really like these. I like these a lot. And for this price point, you can't beat it because this is a time saver right here. And these these hands, they're very very uh, pliable. All right, so tell you what I'm gonna do now. Uh, I'm going to clear some of this stuff off. I'm going to get my, my Mando armor kit. Uh, we'll come back and we'll, we'll do some testing just to see what some of this stuff may look like. And, uh, yeah, be right back. All right, I got the Mando kit out. Um, and, again, this is some uh, of the, the latest stuff that Ricky uh, has put out. But uh, I've got other stuff down here. But the first thing I wanted to try is this Imperial um, Trooper helmet right here, this Imperial Commando helmet. Um, this is actually uh, something I've been kicking around too. I uh, tested it on that, but let's just see something here real quick. Okay, so instantaneously, it is so much better. I mean, look at that. I mean, you you go from that silly looking head right there, which is very, very floppy, to something cool. <laughs> Come on. Does it get any better than that? Uh, and I'm just going to show you some of the pieces. Uh, again, none of this is, but... Uh, yeah, a little, little chest piece right there. That works. We got another chest piece right there. Nothing wrong with that. Look at that. Perfect. Um, we do have a back piece for a jet pack. Uh, we got some shoulders. Shoulders right there. He lost a hand. And again, this is not like, you know, first rate, you know, quality here. This is, as far as this figure goes, it's uh, just a, you know, 
simplistic figure. Let's see what I got going on here. Let's see. What is this? I don't have everything printed. I've just got a few few of the new kit printed. Um, let's, let's just take a gander here. Let's see what we can come up with sort of on the fly. Okay. Let's see what this, how this turns out. Get that on there. Again, we're not, it's not perfect. It's not perfection. But I'm just demonstrating this. The whole purpose of this is to just to demonstrate and share information that I've, you know, learned from people like Ricky. I mean, uh, Clone Craft, that's his uh, YouTube and it's uh it's 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 pretty spot on. I love it. That is a that is a weird head sculpt right there. I'm gonna throw this piece on here just to for effects, just to see. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> Pop this back on. This is such a weird head sculpt. And <laughs> it's it's just a it's just weird, but I didn't buy it for the head sculpt. I did not buy it for the head sculpt. I bought it for the body. Get my get my tweezers out here so I can pull some of this fabric up. I'm telling you, this this is this is so much fun customizing and and things like that. Um, I need to, there it went. I need to actually do, uh, Ricky has actually inspired me a lot uh, with his videos. So I need to actually do a build video, uh, sort of like what he does. Just, you know, just to show you guys what I'm into. Hey, we're getting we're getting close here. We're getting we're getting ridiculously close. Um, let's see, what else? Got some uh, got some leg pieces here. I don't know if these will work with these boots, but the thing I like about these boots, you can actually cut them down if you need to. But let me uh, let me see how this this works. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, do I want to use those or do I want to use these? Let me look here. Let me look here. I don't know if I want to use use these or not. Um, hmm. Let's try these. Yeah, so I'm not going to be able to put no... Um, no shins on them because of the uh, the boots, so I need to re rethink the boot part. But that's okay. We may not go that route. Let me see if I can get his get his shoe back on. There we go. Get his hand back on. Oh, I lost both his hands. I lost both of them. All right, so we're going to do this for aesthetics, you know, what kind of, uh, what kind of weapon should we give it? What, what do we got here? That's this big old knob. We give him a rocket launcher. Let's see what we can come up with. Yeah, this uh, <laughs> this fabric is sort of slickery, so my fingers are sliding off of it. All right, let's see what we can come up with. Let's see if we can get him something menacing to go along with this little bit of armor we put on him just for the just for the show here. Come on, there you go. 
And I don't care what body you use, trying to manipulate even a even a hot toy, you know, <laughs> trying to manipulate these things is uh, is very very funny. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some tape. I'm gonna put some of this armor on. And we'll come back and we'll take a look at this and I'll give you my final thoughts on this process. All right, there you go. Got him uh, pieced together. And uh, yeah, you sort of get the ideal is you take an inexpensive figure that comes with stuff and you get the files. And like I said, I'll put links in the description. Print your stuff out and uh, create your own thing. Create your own trooper, your own Mando, whatever it is you want to create. Um, and again, this here, uh, test fitting with this particular uh, helmet uh, was for something else I was thinking. Let me uh, pull these off. So um, what I was actually thinking when it comes to the... Uh, this figure itself, or not this figure, but with this particular helmet was in a relationship to another figure I've got, which is uh, this one that I actually bought at Second Chance Toys. Uh, it's got a pretty good head sculpt on it. I actually like the head sculpt. It's not bad. Um, but yeah, this is probably the route I'm going to go with him. Um, is actually I'm gonna put a put a visor in it, put a little padding in it. So I'm I'm probably gonna go this route with him because um, I actually do like the fact that it uh, shows his eyes. Another trick that uh, I learned from Ricky when it comes to the helmets that do the ball joints is uh, you basically fill them full of hot glue, and then when you pop it on there. And this is the way I'm going to go with this one. I'm not, not actually going to use this helmet. I'm actually going to affix this helmet to the body. So, uh, yeah, there's what, uh, there's what the Mando-style helmet looks like on this figure. I think it looks great. And since, the, uh, since this collar comes up so high, the helmet actually works great with it. So... Yeah, but uh, there you go, guys. Like I said, uh, I saw this on Ricky's channel. Me and him, we talk a lot on uh, Messenger and stuff like that. I really admire him, admire his work uh, and the stuff he creates. And like I said, I'll put links to his uh, YouTube channel and um, where you can get the files and stuff on CG Trader. But uh, yeah, good, good people. And even this piece here, I'm, I'm really excited for because this is similar to what I've been designing over here is attaching armor to an actual um, military vest, uh, a mole vest. So like this back piece right here, we can actually uh, fit a lot of this armor on this vest so this will give me a good trial run of my ideal as well so but guys that's it for the video hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think about this i'll leave links to amazon where you can get this figure as well um to pick your own your own up but hope you enjoyed it let me know also if this is your first time to my channel hey if you enjoy this type of content do me a favor hit that subscribe button at least consider it, okay? If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, do live streams and YouTube shorts. Also, click on the more in the description. That's where you'll find links to all of this stuff here and uh, all my social media. So you can reach out to me, ask me questions or anything. So but we're done, guys. We are done. And finally, please always remember making your own toys cheaply will refresh your soul and I'll see you next time.